You first talk us through your elation at, at the innings and, and the physical toll that, that it's taken on you. Uh, yeah, I guess bittersweet. Um, obviously disappointed not to get 300. Um, but if you'd told me at the, uh, the start of the day, uh, I, I would have been close. Uh, I, I would have taken it. Um, some of me feels, I feel a little bit happier that Bolte didn't get out, I think, because he was so nervous out there. Um, if, he, if he'd got out and I was close, I think uh, that could have broken for a few years. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess, was, I guess I'm, I was happy after the way I batted in, in Brisbane. I was, I was all at sea, I was a little bit underdone, and um, you know, I trained pretty hard leading into the Brisbane game. And um, you know, sometimes when you try hard, you you know try too hard, you don't get the results. And leading into this game, I sort of just let it all go, and I don't care how ugly I, uh, I looked. I just wanted to bat and see where it took me. And 290, I'll take it. So 300 obviously loomed into view, but it wasn't a, a massive thing for you at the time? No. Every batsman came in was pretty nervous, and I was just like, ah, just every run is, is crucial. You know, if we could get 20 or 30 run lead, I, you know, I thought, um, you know, put, put a bit of pressure on Australia and, and keep them out there a little bit longer. has been pretty hot over the last few days. Um, and, you know, it's not easy bowling 150 overs uh, in those conditions. Um, and it showed we got a couple of early wickets and were able to put a bit of pressure on them. But, uh, you know, Voges and, and Smith batted outstandingly well to, to obviously put them, put them in a, a reasonable position. Can you quite, quite believe what you've done now, just a few hours ago looking back? Uh, oh, I think it would be something you, maybe after the test. Um, you know, still going to have, have another innings, I'm sure, uh, tomorrow. So don't, don't want to look too far ahead. It's still either, um, you know, got to score some runs to maybe win a test match or, or to save one. <coughs> Ross, would you consider that the, the pinnacle innings of your career? Uh, yeah, I'd, it's got to be up there. Um, Any time you score over at 200 in Australia and, you know, a lot of better batsmen than me have come over and, you know, scored 200, but um, yeah, it was. Sorry, my meatballs are still just sitting there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It just looked like a, con a considered opinion, that was all. Um, how do you foresee the match unfolding here for now in, in terms of the wicket and, and where it's going in that regard? What were the cracks looking like and what? Uh, where's that at? Yeah, the odd ball's doing a little bit, I think, to put the batter a little bit on edge, but. Um, all in all, it's pretty flat wicket once the, that new ball goes away. Um, I think spin is starting to have a little bit more of an effect, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, knowing Australia, I'm sure they'll um, come out tomorrow and, and try and score some quick runs and, and put us under pressure. Uh, you know, I'm sure whatever they give us, um, we'll, we'll definitely have a, have a go uh, and, and wait and see what happens. Perhaps just finally for me, what's the general feeling in the team as a result of being able to turn around from what was a disappointing Brisbane performance? Oh, I think um, it was a disappointing first day. Uh, I think we talked about, um, you know, how we how we needed to play on this uh, against Australia on these conditions, and I think the way we we came from day two on is, is how we've wanted to play this whole tour. You know, we've been on the back foot for most of it. Um, Fielded a lot of times um, in the warm-up games as well, um, but no, I think it was, um, you know, it was, it was pretty good, um, you know, batting display. I thought Kane batted outstandingly well. Um, put us, you know, took a lot of pressure off me on day one, um, but uh, yeah, still, you know, if we can get a couple of wickets tomorrow, you never know. Um, get a small chase, but um, you know, from where we were on day one, I'm sure definitely. Um, a lot happier than we were then. Ross, um, talk to me a little bit about how you um, enjoyed, I suppose, batting in that big partnership with Kane and, and also how much, I, I guess, you've drawn from watching how he, say, how he dealt with the Australian bowlers in, in Brisbane and, and just the way he's, he's, he's conducted himself batting in this series. Yeah, I think not only this series, I think throughout the last 18 to 24 months he's been outstanding. Every format of the game, one day, 2020, um, been very consistent in the way he prepares. Um, 
you know the processes that he that he goes through is very meticulous, um, and you know just it's just great for the Australian public to see um, you know a world class batter. Um, we don't often say that in, in New Zealand, but it's um, you know not only myself, but he, he's a very good example for for the other batters. And when you bat with him, um, you know there's not a lot of words out there, but um, you know you, you always know you're going to have to work hard to get his wicket. Um, as I said before, he took a lot of pressure off me when I started the innings. Um, and, you know, for such a young man to achieve what he's achieved so far, I think it's it's only the start. And uh, regarding um, the contrast, I suppose, between that first innings you had in Brisbane and, and being able to, to do this, can you remember, I guess, what you what you were thinking in that brief stay, that, that first innings of the series? Um. <coughs> I had to get my eyes test in between because I couldn't really see the ball. Um, so the eye drops obviously worked. Um, no, I think you know I was out of the game for about six six weeks. So I could couldn't do anything. Um, anxious. It's a, obviously a big tour. We we put out a lot of pressure on ourselves, and I guess as individuals you do that as well. And, um, you know, I I wanted to do well and uh, was all at sea put too much pressure on myself, just, as I said before, just relaxed and um, be on the balls of my feet and play straight. And, uh, it was chalk and cheese from, from where I was a week ago. Was the, really, just read the eye test, was that legit or was <laughs> No, no, that was legit. I had, to, I had to have an eye test. I couldn't really see the ball. Um, I have a pterygium in my left eye. Um, <laughs> and I do that a lot. And um, when I saw the optometrist, uh, she goes, oh, when it's dark, you'll probably do this a lot. And I told that to the boys, and they actually lost it because um, that's what they do. Uh, they take, that's how they take the mickey out of me on the team. So. Just on your injury and surgery, you have in Zimbabwe. Are you, are you still in any discomfort at all as a result of that? Uh, no. Um, yeah. It's good to be hitting balls again. Um, but no, no discomfort or anything. I guess it's a little bit... Uh, nerve wracking when 160 kilometres an hour is coming at you, but um, I suppose once you get into the fight and um, the adrenaline kicks in, your instincts just take over and you just bat. And, and did your doctors tell you though you needed to try and avoid getting hit for this next couple of months? Or yeah, for four, for four months. Um, try and not get hit, but it's, a, it's an interesting thing to tell a, a player, but um, I think I've got about two months to go, so I'm counting down. Yeah, I, I, um, I heard from Hogan leading leading into the test match. Um, he sent me a, a, a long uh, a long email. Um, I hadn't heard from him before the, the. I heard a little bit from him before the Christmas test, um, but uh, no, I got a text from him last night. And jokingly, he said he was disappointed because that was his proudest moment uh, having the record here in Australia, uh, 188. But uh, no, he was very rapt, and I just received the text before and uh, he was very proud so it's a big tick. Um, just about that uh, that 160 or you know, the one ball at clock 160 but also being in the middle of that spell from from Mitch Stark yesterday you know the, the pitch has been pretty good for, for batsmen but that that spell seemed to be a slightly different game from the rest of the, the rest of the way the game has gone. Yeah it's, it's not easy when you come out to bat after a partnership like that obviously Brendan had to wait uh, a long time to come out to bat and, and Stark had his tail up um, and you know fortunate enough he had, had a little bit of luck but uh, yeah, it was it was very fast and, and hostile um, you know I was lucky to obviously we both survived that and you know seven seven over straight with uh, the new ball in that conditions is, is not easy but that I'm sure that would have taken uh, a lot out of him but um, no it was yeah well it was nice to have got through it. Russell do you feel a little slighted that they Australian players didn't come up here and shake your hand at the end of the inning as you went off the ground just before lunch? No, I, when I get out, I just walk off as quick as I can. I don't want to stay out there any any longer than I than I have to. Um, I'm sure. I mean, I got out on the the far side of the boundary, so I'm sure, you know they were all congratulating them, and I'm walking off as fast as I can to hopefully come and get a catch. But uh, that wasn't to happen until after lunch. So. No, I wasn't. I'm sure it was just a. Coincidence more than anything.